What is up, Need for Speed Racers? It is I, your wheel man, Alex Cornut. I'm here today with the viewer requested Corvette C8. I chose the convertible because why not grab the drop top when you get to pick between the two? And I was able to cram a little more horsepower in that one. Overall, the car looks amazing. But that's really all it does that's amazing. Uh, it's a rough one in game, you guys. I mean, it's way off pace, even if you make no mistakes and you drive it to the best of its abilities. We tried as many configurations in this car as we could just to see if there was some magic formula that maybe the stats were worse, but somehow performed better. And we just couldn't find it. Uh, I don't think it exists. I would love for them to maybe patch the car and fix it. I'll kind of go through the nuances with you while we're going through the build. Uh, you guys know me, I don't like to be super negative about stuff, but I want to set you up for the truth. This is not one that you're going to go out and just slay pubs in. Uh, you will fight for every victory that you get if you run this car, because it's not an easy one. Let's dig into the build. Let me show you what I got. Before we get into the parts and engine portion of the build, I do want to show you that if you go and customize and you remove the back bumper or change it, you can drop that exhaust so that way you can see everything. And that exposed exhaust, when you pick some of those with like just the titanium welds where it has all that nice purple and stuff in there, that's just, it looks so good. So that with the core nut crew livery that our man Lex did for us, uh, this car looks great. Like this is straight up show car material as far as I'm concerned. Like if this showed up to any of the car shows that I put on in game when we're cruising around on stream, I'd vote for it because it looks really good. Convertible just looks dope, but that's really where it starts and stops for me. I It's a rough one, you guys. It doesn't perform like I'd like it to. So when it comes to the engines, we tried a variety of the different engines that you can build up and do stuff with. We Nil tried this one and this one for me. Uh, basically, they don't even get close. I tried the 2.9 liter V8 that comes out of the Ferrari F40, and I was like, let's see what's good there. And it just doesn't hit. Like You'll see that that's a 330 build, and it's like 170 less horsepower, missing about 100 foot-pounds of torque. And it's that'll go faster, but it doesn't have enough power to push it. This car struggles the most when you get into the fifth and sixth gears. And so I'll explain that in a moment. For the engine that you were using in this build, it is actually the stock motor. It is the 6.2 V8. It is the pro silver engine, 495 brake horsepower when we start. And that is the fifth motor over. So you count one, two, three, oh, excuse me, fourth, fourth motor over. I can count you guys, promise. For the parts, you're gonna do gold super induction. You're gonna do Elite Platinum ECU, Silver Pro Fuel System, Super Gold Exhaust, and Elite Platinum Centrifugal Supercharger. We tried it with the screw, we tried it with the roots, I had one of the other guys test it with the turbo. Um, we basically had a few different people working on this car together, trying different configurations. And when it really came down to it, the Sentry really was the best and i think the reason for that is first through fourth are nice close gear ratios so you're just in the power all the time and there's just nothing we can do to fix fifth and sixth with this transmission there are longer gears and it is just slow to come up on that uh the screw wasn't too bad you have to take a little bit of horsepower out of it to get the screw in there and so maybe for like a shorter track build you might try the screw uh, and then just tear down your induction a little bit but for the best all-arounder that we could do the century was what we went with as a group you're going to run sport bronze nitrous elite platinum road suspension silver pro brakes elite platinum grip tires and it comes with an elite platinum clutch which is pretty cool even though it doesn't really help all that much <laughs> You are gonna run the Silver Pro six speed transmission in this one, you guys. As soon as you tear up that transmission, it just adds that top speed and it just tears it right up to S plus. I tried building it with the eight speed and taking some horsepower out to make it fit. And that really hurts it a lot. So even though it improves the gear ratios, now it's just kind of slow everywhere. So there was just no winning with the way this car got built. You're gonna go elite platinum differential auxiliaries i run nitrous drift and nitrous grip you guys do you uh, if you find yourself like not in first place all the time if you're not leading the pack if you're in second or third or whatever you're chasing the boys 
Nitrous Draft is a pretty solid one. That's really gonna help you build up your boost uh, in, in your Nitrous a lot. And some tracks, the jump is where it's at. So go with what you're comfortable there, you guys. Definitely pick the auxiliary that fits your driving style. I find myself, especially in pub lobbies or when I'm racing with some of the guys, either isolated or out front, depends on the situation. And so in those scenarios, I'm doing the micro drifts and I get the most out of my auxiliaries there. But you might just do whatever you think is best. Handling, slide the slider to the left, 80% grip, as much as we can get out of it. It's pretty predictable, it's not too rowdy. Um, it, it will surprise you a little bit under boost, especially if you hit a curb or just there's a little bit of elevation in the corner, it'll get a little loose on you. But for the most part, it's pretty planted. Steering sensitivity, I run two clicks high. You guys go with whatever you think is right. Downforce, run it all the way high. That's where I was at on this build. There's nowhere else with this build that you can put it. it otherwise, it's 330S+. plus. So run it all the way high. Traction control, I run it with off. And drift entry, I run brake tap. That's my build for this, you guys. Uh, Nil put it together originally, and then we tried to differentiate from the original just to see if there was something else we could find, and we couldn't. We tried multiple engines, multiple configurations. We spent a lot of money on the car really trying to just squeak out any performance that we could, and it wasn't there. So it's a, it's a, it's a really pretty pig, but it is a pig. And so even if you put lipstick on a pig and pretty it up, it's still a pig. And so... That's where we're at. I think real life, this car is a banger. In game, it's just really not. That all being said, you guys, um, there is the hardtop version of this. If you build it with the hardtop, basically do the same build style. You just have to put a little less performance in it with the induction because um, the hardtop is a little bit lighter. And so it starts at a higher PI value. Either way, both cars are super, super similar. And neither one of them is going to get you going stay tuned for that gameplay footage i've got it going there copium series super omega awesome that's what we're doing right now we are balling out of control it ends on a saturday starts on a sunday so saturday is the last time to put in an entry we are running the 370z nismo edition it's the one you got to get the stunt jumps to unlock We've already got over 60 participants. We're trying to get that up to around 80 or 90 like we did last week. And I think we'll probably hit it because we've got a couple days left. We're having a lot of fun. It's a great way to compete. And it's really designed for new players that have never competed in anything before, that have never set a time, that have never even really tried to improve a time on a track. And so the way I do it, I've got splits. I break everybody up. I put people with like times uh, of their self in that split so that way you're competing against others that are at your skill set and really it is the only thing like it that is designed to help new players in a format that is not super sweaty try hard where just the winner is the king and then everybody else just fights for whatever place like last week i had 11 different winners 11 different podiums and when it's all said and done we had a lot of people participating and it was awesome so if you'd like to be a part of that get with me i will link the copium series video at the end of this one so you can just click on it and check it out it's awesome it costs you nothing to get in you can email me your time you can submit it in the discord whatever you've got any way you can get it to me just take a picture of the end race screen showing your time, the car you drove, and what track it is, plus your name, so that way I've got you. And uh, we'll get you submitted, you guys. We're having a lot of fun. We're attracting a lot of new players to it. And there's plenty of sweaty try-hard competitions out there. And this isn't that. This is fun, friendly, and engaging for everybody. And it is really the only place that is welcoming new players and is designed to help people out. And so, it's awesome. And it is my current pet project and my love interest for need for speed right now and it's it's fire come and join you guys i'd love to have you stay tuned for that scenic route it's okay have a great rest of your day bye bye all right gameplay footage for you guys we are on scenic route it's a nice long race kind of gives you an idea of the top speed if it'll redline tech how it does in the twisties it's kind of all condensed on other cars, I might toss a little more gameplay footage at you, but this one really is very lackluster, and so um, I'm not going to try to force a car to look good. I'll be honest with you guys. This is uh, mid. Mid. L low mid. <laughs> we launch in fourth. Try to get a bit of a draft here. I've got the purple and white livery on this thing. I know that Lex is running the... Um, 
blue up there. There's a red and white one we've got. This this livery looks tight with the Cornut Racing Crew, if you guys like that. We're going to get a nice grip turn there. Slides a little bit. That's really burned us bad. There's our buddy Keyboard Warrior. Uh, our Axon and Lord JCS are all in front of us. So the Cornut Crew out front. I'm out here in fifth. And then we got a couple of uh, random players I'm not familiar with behind us. That was really a bad deal because having that three boost to get us onto this straightaway is really important so you can carry our speed. We'll zoom by Lex there. Get a micro drift up the hill. Get a micro drift around this corner. Boost down the hill. Get back up to speed. Try to reel in Keyboard Warrior. He is in that F40, so it's an uphill battle for us for sure. Because that F40 is good. Nice big grip turn. Grab a near miss. We'll do a micro drift here until we're out on the apex and then accelerate out. Our man is out here doing degen lines, just flying. <laughs> Now, our Axon, he is up in front of us with that M1. So, that's a pretty good car in S. Definitely has um, much better characteristics than our C8 here. But that kind of gives you a baseline. Like, um, I haven't made any tremendous errors. I got a little bit of a bobble coming onto the big straightaway. And then we kind of burned the three bar in the wrong spot because we were in a keyboard. So, because of that, that cost us some time. And that's the gap that we've got between us and Lord. But keep, um, our Axon, he's out there in first in that M1 and just walking us like no problem. He's got a thousand yards on us. And you guys will see, I mean, it's like, I've not made a ton of huge errors here. Don't get me wrong, it's not the cleanest run, but I want to set you guys up for like the real version of what this car is going to do. If you go and take it into an S race, you're going to be fighting the entire time with it. Oh, come on, baby. Oh, okay. So that's, uh, you're not going to give us a grip turn? We're just going to... Like I say, I'm fighting the car, you guys. The real issue that I think I have with it, and I do the best I can not to be negative about the cars, because they are what they are, but the real reality is that 5th and 6th are just long. Like, you kind of do most of your racing in 5th gear, because fourth is too short. Like, you're out of fourth at a, you know, really quickly, like 100 mile an hour, essentially. And let's see how fast fourth actually gets us. 110. But then fifth will take you from 110 all the way to, like, 150-ish. So, yeah, and that, that 40 mile an hour at that speed doesn't come quickly. And so you're just fighting it the whole time. And then when you finally do click into six, you're really, really fighting it because it's just a slow climb from there. So This is a great car show car, not a tremendous uh, race car. And the reason I speak of the car this way is because I don't want to surprise anyone. I don't want you guys to watch the build video. It looks awesome. You see the gameplay footage. And then I'm winning all these races against pub lobbies and you're like, man, that car looks good. Uh, so I really think it's kind of important for me to show the car versus, you know, our Axon, he's up there in the M1. Kind of give you an idea of what it looks like when you're actually going up against some pretty competent cars in the class. Because it's like if I'm keeping up or keeping pace with those, you're good. Like, you guys know you're getting into something pretty solid. But if it's anything other than that, there you are, you're fighting it. Now Lex was able to get in the draft, he grabbed that boost, came around us right there, real solid. We're pushing high 30s here by the looks of things. Oh no, we're going to be in the 40s for the finish here. But you see how just having the boost, we're able to walk on Lex again? Alright, well that is Scenic Route. Um, I love the way the car looks. I really wanted this car to be good because IRL, if somebody wanted to talk to me about a C8, I would love to drive one, get my ass in one. I think they're sweet. But... Need for Speed just isn't treating us right. So uh, that's where we're at on that, you guys. You'll see the Stingray is right there in that list. Uh, 37, 45, 45. 
But uh, our action got a clean run in that M1, and that really sets the gap there. And, guys, keep in mind, we are 40 seconds off of pace for what a good scenic route is. Like, sub 410 is where you want to be. Sub 4 is, like, really cooking. That's record pace. So, um, we're out here. I'm happy to bring it to you. This is what you guys wanted, so this is what you get. Much love, guys. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.